Hello, welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today I will be reviewing this. It is Westminster by G.L. Pease, part of Pease's, Pease's heirloom collection. Um, there's actually an interesting article that he wrote on his own blog, GLPs, called The Road to Westminster. I suggest you check that out. It's an interesting background on how he came to uh, develop this blend. He was basically trying to recreate the original Dunhill London mixture, um, not the Murray's version and not the, Orlick, the Orlick version, but the original Dunhill version, and that's how he came up with this blend. I'm not old enough to have ever tried the original Dunhill version, some of you may have, so if you like this review, you think you might like this blend, it might be interesting for you to check this out and see how it compares to that original Dunhill blend. Like I mentioned though, the blend is GLP's Westminster, produced by Cornell & Deal, available at smokingpipes.com. They have a 2-ounce tin like this, they have an 8-ounce tin and a 16-ounce tin, respectively priced at 1063 3570 and 6163. Pipes and Cigars has the 2 ounce, 8 ounce, and 16 ounce as well at 1062, 3570, and 6162. And then Four Noggins has the 2 ounce and 8 ounce, not the 16 as of the recording of this video, priced at 1069 and 3590. Let's read the tin description, shall we? Peas always has interesting tin descriptions. <clears throat> Here we go. Westminster, the very essence of the traditional mixture. Rich, elegant, refined, and exquisitely balanced. New World Red Virginias are enhanced with a gentle caress of bright leaf, then lavishly seasoned with rich oriental tobaccos and generous measures of noble Cypress Mountain Latakia. Westminster is a full, satisfying mixture, with layers of flavors to delight the senses as it develops in the bowl. The perfect everyday smoke. So there you have it. The blend type is, it's a Balkan. It's Oriental Forward. It's an English mixture as well. Um, let's call it a Balkan. I'm still like weird about calling things Balkans. Um, some people have ratios, like if it's this much Oriental to this much Latakia, then that means it's a Balkan. To me, basically, if it seems like a more Oriental Forward blend where the Oriental and Latakia are almost balanced or the Oriental is maybe a little bit ahead of the Latakia in, uh, I guess, proportion in the blend, then I guess I will refer to it as a Balkan, and I think this one qualifies. The blend contains, as we saw in the tin description here, red and bright Virginias, Orientals, and Latakias. Let's get to the vital stats, shall we? The flavoring in this one, I did not detect any added flavoring. GLP's has been very transparent about the fact that he does add things to the tobaccos to make them taste the way he wants them to taste. Um, almost every manufacturer does that, but it's whether or not you can detect it or not, whether or not it's obvious it is not in this blend. The cut is a ribbon. Let me show you that right now. GLP's Westminster. Nice classy tin art there from their heirloom collection in the C and D style tin. Inside we have a fairly easy to deal with ribbon cut, still not up to like the Orlick Dunhill blends, but not bad at all, pretty easy to pack. And like I said, the moisture content is not bad. Just shy of perfect, a little bit into the moist towelette realm, but perfectly packable and lightable right out of the tin, but you might benefit from a little drying. Very well. On with vital stats. The strength on this one, I'm going to give medium. The taste, I'm going to give medium as well, but it's it's almost approaching full. It's a fairly, it's a high medium, I guess you could say. And then the nicotine level, medium high. Moisture from tin was moist towelette. And then the packaging, a two ounce tin like this, also available in eight ounce and 16 ounce big boys if you want. The tin note, let me crack this baby open. Shove my nostrils inside. Inhale some of the aroma. Here we go. A little stuffed up. We'll do our best. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, this tastes tastes. It smells very good. It actually tastes very good as well, but we'll get to that later. There's a intoxicating aroma of just spicy incense, it's those orientals really coming to the fore, and then this nice overlay of that smoky Latakia, kind of high and sharp, 
in there as well. Maybe that's some of the Virginia's, a little bit of sweetness in the scent. It's hard to describe a scent as sweet, I guess, or not hard to describe because I do it all the time, but maybe hard to understand that, but you definitely smell sweetness in here. Mm, it smells very good. It's not super, super smoky, super, super latakia-y. Um, you get a lot of the nice spiky, spiky, spicy sort of exotic oriental aroma in this as well. It's very nice. And then the room note is lighter for an English, lighter for a blend that has a lot of Kia in it. A lot of that spice, a lot of that sort of incense aroma will pervade the room and doesn't seem to stick around for too long. But let's get to the actual review. I have got about two thirds of a bowl in here and to get the mechanical things out of the way, um, even though this came a little moist, you could dry it out a little bit if you wished. Uh, still had no issue packing, lighting, smoking, seemed to stay lit pretty well. Um, didn't ever get any bite with this either. And it was also very cool and very dry. It had a very nice um, dry, woody, smoky character to it, where sometimes with Latakia blends, um, you get sort of this mossy dampness to it. I don't know if I'm describing that correctly or not, if that makes sense to you, but this is more of a, think of like wood shavings or spices it just imparted that sort of feeling to you as you smoke it. It never got damp on me at all. So let's go. Mmm. Judging by the component tobaccos in here, the Red and Bright Virginias, the Orientals, and the Latakias, you would expect a certain flavor profile out of this blend, and you definitely get that. Um, it's a nice interplay between the Latakia and the Orientals very balanced with each other. One isn't overpowering the other. Um, so you get this really nice spicy incense-like quality, especially in the retro hail. You get a nice little tingle, a nice little tickle. The Latakia is there as well, just lending this nice smoky sort of sub flavor to the blend, but it's, it's not out of balance at all. It's really, really, really nicely balanced. That's one main thing that I would like to drive home about this blend is that the balance is perfect in my opinion. And then with those Orientals, you also get this nice sort of sharp tang as well that can almost approach acrid, but it's never unpleasant. It's really, really tasty. I like this. It's very good. When I smoke this, I think of just a giant pile of all sorts of exotic spices that have been thrown into a mortar and pestle and ground up. It just has this really intoxicating aroma. And a lot of Oriental blends are like that the sort of incense-like quality and spices that I probably never had and never will have. I think the most crazy I ever get is like paprika or something, American, whatever. But like bergamot, is that a spice? Bergamot? Sounds like something. Um, I don't know. Think of a crazy exotic spice, throw it in there, grind it up, throw it in your bowl, and then put a little bit of like liquid smoke over top, light it up. And then the Virginias in here are to me more in the background. It sort of varies as you go through the bowl, but for the most part, it's pretty consistent. And there's just a nice kind of dark, pleasant Virginia sweetness that sort of ties everything together. So you got spicy, you got smoky, you got a little bit of sweet, and you also got a little bit of tang. That nice sharp tang from the Virginias that I really like. Almost sour sometimes. It's quite good. Did I say from the Virginias? From the Orientals. As I mentioned, I've never had the original Dunhill London mixture. I have had the Orlick produced Dunhill London mixture, and I like that quite a bit. This seems similar to me. It's been a while since I've had London mixture, but judging by my reaction to this, and I know I liked London mixture quite a bit, the Orlick version, I would say I probably like this more. If you're looking for an oriental forward English blend that's not super, super overpowering in Latakia, just a nice balanced English oriental forward with that nice spice and tang, I don't think you could go wrong with GLP's Westminster. I like it a lot. It will probably be a regular English smoke for me. Um, I'm gonna be getting more in the future. I like the fact that it's been out for, I think 2005, 2004 is when it came out. So it predates the 2007 date if those FDA, FDA deeming regulations ever do come into effect. So this will still be widely available. And it's nice to know that you can have a very good all day English, maybe a, uh, a basic blend that you can always return to all the time. And GLP's Westminster seems like it could take that place for me. So thank you guys so much for watching this review of GLP's Westminster. I've been your good friend Bradley, you've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. We'll see you later.